Welcome back to Joe's RC Corner, guys. And uh, I want to go over a few things that I completed on this aircraft on the Super Chipmunk um, while I wasn't recording. So, the last video that you guys saw about the Super Chipmunk, we were painting the blue. I did the red off camera because it was more or less the same uh, process as doing the blue and the same paint. Okay? So, I went ahead and did that off camera, made things a little bit easier um, without having to try to make sure the camera views were in there. Um, but the final result, as you guys have probably seen on the Facebook pictures, is absolutely gorgeous. It came out great. The water slide decals, again, applying water slide decals, if you've done plastic models over the years, um, it's basically the same thing, only on a bigger scale. So those also came out really beautiful. Um, so one of the tricks though that I did uh, complete on here that I may not have really talked about too much was the air scoop on the side here. Now the kit didn't come with the air scoop like it showed in the pictures, but it was really easy to make one. You took a, you, all you really need to do is take a spoon, you cut off the handle, and you glue it on. And since it's plastic on plastic, went ahead and look, looks really good on there. And I used the canopy glue the, um, uh, to make that. So anyways, uh, went off on a tangent. But that's why the scoop is there, and that, uh, that's actually on the real one as well. Um, maybe not the exact same shape, but very similar. So <clears throat> pretty much everything is done on the aircraft as of right now in regards to painting and finals and, and, and decals and so on. Um, I've already done a wet sand on the color. The color is now ready for a clear coat to add that final sheen to it. To add that clear coat, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking everything apart on here. We'll be taking the cowl off, the tail cone, um, of course the wing will come off the plane, the canopy will come off the plane. Um, you know, we'll, we'll make sure that the wheel pants are also mounted and ready to go and we'll clear coat those as well. And then we'll be taking it into a paint booth and spraying a nice clear coat. And we're going to be taking our time on that. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys would like me to do the video on doing the clear coat. I'll be more than happy to do one. Um, try to kind of go over what we're going to be, how, how it's going to go on and, and see how it looks. Uh, if, if, if not, that's fine. I'll go ahead and do that on the off camera. And then I'll show you the final product when we're ready to fly. So, the next video, we're mostly going to be working on um, getting the wheel pants mounted and also making a plate for the landing gear that's going to mount right here to hide the wire. So, other than that, uh, once we get the clear coat done on here, I'll be ready to cut out the holes for the ailerons and, and aileron servos and feed those wires through to the center, get everything wired up. I gotta wire, make a uh, wiring harness for the battery system because we're gonna be running, if you remember, a two, um, two 3S batteries in series to make it a 6S power system, which is why I also went ahead and ordered a larger prop for this motor. It is recommended that this uh, motor system uh, have a 16 to 17 inch prop. I am gonna do some measurements, but I believe I still have uh, quite a big dis distance there on the prop side uh, to be able to put that 16 inch even on step. So we should be fine on that. Um, let's see, what else? Yeah, I can't really think of anything else to go over. Uh, we will, uh, I will also go over installing the AS3X uh, Spectrum receiver. It's a six channel AS3X, the AR636. Um, we will be running this the AS3X system on here. It is a larger air. It is a decent sized airplane. It is going to fly very stable in the air. However, we do get some pretty good winds around here uh, where I live, and uh, we want to still be able to fly even with the wind. So having that AS3X will just make this fly a little bit more on rail, and uh, it'll fly really smooth with it. So that's the plan. Um, let's see what else. Oh, so then the final things before we do go out and fly, we're going to double check that nothing changed on the 
Um, and we're also, before we fly, we're going to double check the thrust line. We're going to double check the uh, incidence on, the, uh, on both the stab and the wing. And we're also going to do another balance, weight and balance. And then I'll let you guys know what the balance uh, comes out to. Now, the power system on this aircraft, I have it set up. It's, it, it's supposed to give out about nine pounds of thrust. I'm hoping that this aircraft is below that nine pounds. I haven't weighed it. Um, but we'll find out, and if it's under nine pounds, power system is going to be a, just, it's going to be great. We're going to have unlimited vertical. It's going to fly really nice, really smooth. We're not going to have to be at full throttle all the time. And we're going to have 5,000 milliamps to deal with anyway with the power system, so we're going to have plenty of power uh, for long flights. So we're really looking forward to it. So I'm looking at maybe about one, one and a half, two weeks, two weeks or so before we take this out to the uh, field and we're gonna be having the maiden on this. I will take you guys out for the ride. <clears throat> so I will go ahead and, and uh, we're gonna sign off from here. I'm gonna do a little bit of close up pictures and some video shots some beauty shots of the airplane for you guys um, right here on the bench. Let you guys take a close look at it. If you guys have any comments, uh, please go ahead and put them down below. I'm going to put links, my Amazon affiliate links, also below in the description to let you guys see what products I've used to build this airplane. And if you're interested in purchasing them, please use those affiliate links. Even if you don't buy anything that I put in there, those specific links, I still get um, some credit through that. And it helps me uh, bring you guys more builds. So. The next construction that we're going to be doing after this airplane is going to be a SIG Colt. And we're going to be using, as you remember, the old Fataba radio that I modified. So we're going to be putting that in the Colt. And uh, that should be a nice build as well. Should be a lot quicker, a little bit smoother build. Uh, and then we'll do a full review of how this radio works with that SIG Colt during the flights. So again, I want to thank all my supporters here. I really appreciate everyone that has subscribed to the channel. I look forward to bringing you guys more builds and, and sharing my experiences in the world of RC. And we will get back on some cars as well. I do need to switch out some things on the cars. Uh, so thank you again for the support of this channel. I'm really enjoying it. And I hope you guys enjoy the videos as much as I am. Down and below, please leave some comments and let me know what, how I'm doing. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. And the next video, like I mentioned, we'll be finishing up this plane and getting it ready for its maiden. So keep an eye out for it. Make sure you hit the bell, and that way you get the notifications of the next, of the next videos. So my last comment on this video will be thank you to my father. We're getting close to Father's Day here. And... Uh, he taught me everything I know. So, thank you again, Dad. You've been great. Uh, you've, you've really taught me very well on this, and I really appreciate it, and I love you. See you guys next time.